Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. My name is Nelson Bandela, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I will be doing a tutorial that's going to be a part of a series, a four-part series, on how you can make beats, four different styles that I do, approach to make beats, um, starting out with voice recordings. So I'm going to use my handy dandies um, cellular device and record a voice memo on here and we'll take it into the computer and make a beat out of it. The four styles that I'm going to do in the series are going to be recording a loop in your voice memos, building up that loop in your digital audio workstation, and then possibly replacing the original voice memo with a different sound. Or you can like write something and then make multiple voice memos of what you've written of varied styles. Um, it could be a poem, singing it, or acting it out, and then turning that into a song. Style C is recording interesting sounds on your voice memos and then turning those sounds into rhythms or finding rhythms in them in your digital audio workstation and making a beat from that. And style D is recording yourself and then maybe like random sounds beatboxing and then turning those sounds into a loop by experimenting with the sounds um, and then adding drums to that and then eventually additional instruments. So today I'm going to do style D, the last one that I explained. And I'm going to start out, turn on voice memos, boom, I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, say some random stuff like Ooh, ba, di, di, ba, di, 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 We be clubbing. <laughs> yeah, uh, something like that. Or, you know, I might, since, you know, I got keyboards around, I might, like, come up with a random song. But in this type of way, show I might come up with a random song now. We be at how, we be at what, we be at, at uh, yeah. Alright, that's good. So, I'm just going to chop that up and make a loop from it over the metronome. And then once I feel good with that loop, I'm going to add drums to it. Here we go. Go to the first one and press Command V after I select the area of the clip. And now I have this audio in here. So let's listen back. Let me just uh, say some random stuff like, ooh. Yeah, it's hard. We be clapping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, something like that. Or, you know, I might, since, you know, I got keep. So now, um, usually what I would do in this situation, if it was me, um, with Ableton, I can adjust the start points and all those things, but I don't even want to get that in depth. I'm just going to to keep the juices flowing and still be like, oh, let me just see what this audio can do for me. I'm gonna pr quickly press the warp button because I don't have mine to set automatically warp. I'm, I'm one of those people. And then um, these yellow markers down here, if you aren't familiar, they're called warp markers. And that's where how you would select the area of where you want to adjust the audio's time variability. variability. Um, and whatnot. And so I'm just going to make some random warp markers by double clicking in this space right here above the audio. Let's make some random ones. I'm not even listening back to the audio. I'm just going to click random areas of where there is audio. And I can tell this audio by seeing the transient bounces. Um, I don't even know if that's the right word. But yeah, you feel me? You feel me? Um, so yeah, I just make some random chops. I always put a chop at the end. And then I'm gonna right click in the audio. And it's gonna bring up this menu and there should be sliced new MIDI track. I'm not sure if this is only available for Ableton Standard and Pro, but hopefully it's available for all. Um, so I call it slice the new MIDI track and I'm going to put the create one slice per to warp marker 
and the slicing preset you can do any of the slicing presets that you have here but I, I personally have one that's based uh, mildly off of the um, NPC kind of chopping where it's like um, if you click one pad it all sets to one choke group so when you click one pad it cuts off the sound from the other pads and I call that one of the 44 wavy I'll share that slicing preset in the link in the video and I'm going to turn off the work timing because I just want the audio I don't want it to be because I can also affect the pitch with this slicing preset and now I have I'm going to make sure to press this stop button underneath the clip so it's not playing and this now if I double click on this clip it's a MIDI clip I'm going to change the color of it just so I know it's different I'm going to call it and I'm going to delete that one because I don't want it I just want to do a one bar clip right now okay, I just want to double click and make a new clip down here I set the launch to one bar and I'm going to turn on the metronome I'm going to turn the metronome volume down a little bit and I'm just tap out a tempo or see how it goes it's bringing up like an 82 I'm going to grind it out So now I'm going to go into draw mode and just put um, a note at each of the one, two, and three, and four to begin with, just to see what might happen. And because I'm just experimenting with the audio, I'm going to push it a little bit further and I'm going to go to this transpose area. And I'm going to transpose all the audio uh, up. And I'm going to put a chorus effect on it. And like 30%, because we're just going to get weird. And have it be a short release. Now I'm going to press play and see what happens. Have it pitched up with this crazy chorus on it. Already in flames. I'm going to go heavier there on the chorus. Let me delete this original audio. I already know I'm feeling this. I, I don't need to do nothing else. So I'm going to also duplicate this now. And to duplicate it, I just click on the clip and do the quick command on the keyboard. For Apple, it's Command D. For Windows, I'll show it on the screen. And so I'm going to go to this other one. And I'm going to change the subdivision of the grid. And in order to do that, I'm going to right click on the grid and change it from 16th notes to 32nd notes and now it has like smaller notes I can draw in and so I'm going to add extra um, notes to a few of them now I'm going to hear what this one sounds like yeah 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 and so in order to do that, I click one clip, hold shift, click the other clip, and then do the quick command for duplicate, and I'll drop them down again. Yeah, this is hard. So, um, first thing I'm going to do to now really make it more of a beat is add some drums to it. So I'm going to add a MIDI track. New MIDI track. 
I'm gonna make this a drum machine. I like to see 78 a lot. And I'm just gonna, you know, make a new clip. Turn it down a little bit. And then. Let it fly. Turn off the mission up. I'm gonna make the grill a little smaller so I can get a little bit. Yeah. Now I'm gonna duplicate the loop. And I'm gonna change it up on the second part. Yeah. And I'm gonna change the sound of the kick a little bit. So I'm gonna go. Actually, let me see what the other kick sounds like. Yeah. But I still wanna change the sound. So I'm gonna go into the kick. Turn on the filter. I'm gonna change it down here. These are the different filter types. So you can, there's like emulations. MS2 is a chord. You can get MS2000. I love that. I'm just gonna add some drive so it has some like, some more like, yeah. Now I'm gonna duplicate this clip a couple times. And on the next one, I'm gonna add some hats. Um, I draw means like that so I can adjust the. I don't got the new joints, you know, I adjust them to manually a few of them. You know what I'm saying? So they can have a little bounce with the velocity. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that by clicking on the pad, copy it, and then in the next one, I'll paste it in. And then click on this dot dot two, or call it two, it's the right about two, I think it's duplicate the time, yeah, so then when I click that double times, I can duplicate it. And the next clip, it goes... I'm actually going to take this clip up to the top and just take out Yeah. 
Style D of this uh, adventure. My name is Nelson Vandela. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel at the end, I guess. I appreciate you tuning in. Please like and subscribe um, and comment if you have any suggestions, if you feel the beat, anything. Uh, but yeah, if you got suggestions for other tutorials too, I'll be welcome to hear what those ideas might be and also your thoughts on this process and other different experimental processes you use in taking voice memos and making beats. Peace.